see, ladies and gentlemen, the curry fish is just about done. Now I'm going to turn it off in a few minutes and clean up my stove, but yes, it's just about done. I'm going to give it a little taste test. <clears throat> we get a spell. Alright, welcome back folks. This is food done at you, right? Um, I um I was speaking to you earlier this morning, um, maybe about three, four hours ago, right, about what I'm gonna make today. Uh, what I'm gonna cook on my vlog today. Um, you know, it's gonna be curry uh, curry salmon um, with uh, with vegetables. I'm going I'm not gonna make any rice, you know, because actually what I'm making this for is a coworker of mine, a nurse friend of mine that works at the hospital. You know, she um and she doesn't eat any rice, she doesn't want any carbs, right, or does, she doesn't eat much carbs at all. So what she wants is just fish with the vegetables, and I'm going to, um, you know, fry a couple of plantains for her, a couple of pieces of plantains for her, and uh, call it a day. So, um, like I said, I got my fish seasoned up already, right, <clears throat> you see, I got my salmon steak, I got three pieces, three pieces of salmon steak, I got it seasoned, right, all the spices and stuff like that on there. I got um, the allspice pimento, I got the whole pimento, I, um, I have what else, I have thyme, I have black pepper, I have um, all proper seasoning, um, I have some of my, um, my marsala seasoning on there, and what else, black pepper, and um, I'm going to put some browning on there, you know, some, some browning on to give it you know, some coloring, right, uh, and this should be an easy, uh, easy meal, you know, salmon doesn't take too long to cook, so, um, my first process is um, I got the uh, the stove on right now. Right, got a fire going. I mean the stove going. Got the heat going underneath the pot. I'm gonna add a little bit of oil. The first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna saute the vegetables. I'm gonna saute the vegetables and um, add the curry and stuff like that to it, and get everything sorted. And then I'm gonna add the uh, the salmon to it, right, and let it steam. All right, so here we go. Slice steak with what? On the steak. Yep, that's good. There you go. Thank you. Have a good day.
So as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, I added my vegetables, you know, to the sauteed onions and peppers. I'm going to let that sit and simmer. Let some of that ice, you know, melt off of it. Then I'm going to add my curry powder to that. Alright, so, mm, alright ladies and gentlemen, next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to add my seasoning, I'm going to add my spices to it, um, my marsala seasoning, my solid spices, I'm going to add that to the vegetables, get that flavor going, get my black pepper, add that to it. My pimento brown also, yeah, my pimento brown is actually not all spice. I mean, I guess it tastes like all spice, but it's just pimento browns. The pimento brown gives it a very, very nice cinnamony uh, flavor. My all purpose seasoning, Maggie all purpose seasoning. Add that there. And then go, you know, so a little more, more all-purpose seasoning. Get that nice and spiced up. All right. So. Curry powder. Spoons of curry powder. Give that a nice stir. Like I said folks, this is going to be a very easy meal, you know, because the salmon doesn't take too long to cook, right? So, next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to add the salmon. Salmon steaks right on top of the veggies. So, my bad fellas, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not going to add that yet. I want to add my Maggi noodle in there first before I add the, um, the fish.
I'm going to need a little bit of water. And just allow this to sit and saute for like five minutes or so. You know, until the, um, the noodles and the uh, cock soup or the uh, noodle soup, until it gets soft. Then I'll add a fish to it. Alright, so give that a quick cover and let it sit there and do its thing. Give me a closer view of the pot here. There we go. That's what it looks like in there. So turn the light off. Yeah, that's a better view of the light off of what the salmon looks like. And um, I'm gonna cover it over. Um, I got the heat down to um, you know low, medium to low. So I'm gonna cover it over um, and let the salmon do its thing. All right. As I can see, I done chopped up some onions, right? <clears throat> I'm not tearing as much as I should, right? Because the first thing to do, you know, before you start chopping up the onions is soaking them in some water. You know, you soak them in some water, you know, for a good uh, two to five minutes, right? And get, that gets rid of all the harshness from the, um, from the onions. And um, that makes it better when you cut them up, you know, because usually in the past, you know, anybody cuts up onions, you know, and they look like then and the mama done died, their dog done died, so they're crying tears and all that stuff. Alright, so the best way to eliminate that is to soak your onions in some water for five minutes. Alright, and um, you know, you can cut them up without crying. Alright, so so I do this, the, 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 this for a purpose. I cut my onions up for a purpose, cut them up and freeze them. Right, and I put them in a Ziploc bag, right, in the freezer, and let them sit there. Yeah? And whenever you cook, Take out a handful, right, and use it, you know, at your leisure, you know, for your convenience, for my convenience, all right, because, you know, each and every time you go to the store and buy all these spices, onions, tomatoes, peppers, and all that good stuff, right, you leave them sitting out on the counter, they only stay, they're only good for a couple of days, right, before they go bad, all right, so, so I won't waste my damn money, I cut them up, freeze them, and use them when I need them, all right, so. That's what I do. All right, as I can see, ladies and gentlemen, the curry fish is just about done. Now I'm going to turn it off in a few minutes and clean up my stove, but yes, it's just about done. I'm going to give it a little taste test. <clears throat> we got a spell. Yeah, so I'm gonna give a little taste test and see how this bad boy is tasting. Let me get a piece of that fish. Yeah, I gotta take I gotta turn that thing off. That fish is breaking apart. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. 
mm, very good spices. It's a little, little spicy, not extremely spicy, you know, but enough to clean out your nostrils and your your um, sinuses. All right, so let me pop that off. All right, so the fish is done. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, curry salmon, you know, with mixed vegetables. All right, and this I'm going to serve it to her. All right, this is what she wanted it. As I noticed, I did not, um, you know, fry. I didn't fry the salmon, you know, or cook it before I added to the, the the vegetables. I did it after because that's how she requested it, right? She didn't want to cook down. I mean, she didn't want it fried. She didn't want to saute it or anything like that. You know, she wanted vegetables in there to saute first, and then you add the salmon to it, right? You know, regularly, you know, I would have fried the brown the salmon a little bit, right? And then, um, you know, add the saute uh, vegetables and stuff like that afterwards, you know, but. You know, this is a request for one of my coworkers. You know, she did pay for this, right? So, um, I'm, I'm, I'm making a request come true, all right? So, it's all done. I'm going to let it sit there and cool off. And, um, you know, I go to work in the next part, hour and a half, take a tour, and I uh, hope she enjoys it, all right? So, there you have it, folks. There you have it. Okay, there you have it, folks. <clears throat> uh, meal is done. I get my towel, my face off. It's a little hot in this kitchen, you know, with the stove running, you know, and with the temperature the way it is. Uh, the window cracked a little bit, you know, to let some fresh air in, you know. But, um, you know, just, I guess the summer is up on us, right? I got my fan out there in the hallway, you know, blowing some cool air in, right? Um, pretty soon I'm going to have to put the ACs in the window, you know. Because um, this weekend is supposed to be in the lower 80s or whatnot, you know, and the humidity is up there. So pretty soon, I think next weekend, I'm going to put ACs in the window to cool this place down. All right, so, <clears throat> once again, you know, thanks for watching my, um, you know, my cooking vlog, right? You know, this is food done, doing this thing, you know, food with a twist. Here we go, curry salmon, never done that before, right? And I hope y'all out there have had curry salmon before, or maybe I want to try this recipe. It's not that very, very, very difficult, all right? Your um your regular seasoning, your onions, your peppers, your scallions, and so on and so forth. Tomato, um, and all that stuff. Add tea pot, saute it, right? Um, you add your mixed vegetables to it. You know, your broccoli, your cauliflower, whatnot. Whatever kind of vegetables you want, add to your your pot. You add that to it, and then season your fish, right? And um, what's your what, and then yeah, whatever fish you want, you know, I want it. Yeah, I want to use, you know, whatever fish to your liking, you know, snapper, porgy. Um, kingfish, you know, doctor fish, um, what else, um, whiting, you know, um, whatever, whatever fish y'all desire, you know, to cook, you know, y'all can do it, all right, it's very simple, you know, but today I choose this with salmon because this is a request of one of my co-workers, all right, so, it's looking beautiful, it's smelling good, you know, smelling delicious, all right, I'm, you know, I'm having a little piece of myself, but anyway, um, thanks for watching, thanks again for watching, thanks for your support, um, you know, make sure you like, subscribe, and um, share, comment, right? Give me a comment down below if y'all like this, you know, my, my, my curry fish, my curry salmon, right? You know, hit that thumbs up button or thumbs down button, you know, but preferably thumbs up button. Let me know y'all, you appreciate and like this video, right? And hit that notification bell, you know, when y'all subscribe, hit that notification bell. So when I do any kind of new videos, right, y'all got first dips, right? Um... So, thanks again for watching. Um, my, uh, I'm going to, well, I do have a website with all my merch and so on and so forth. I'm going to do some reconstruction with that. You know, because I also want to add these aprons. I want to start, you know, selling these aprons with the name on there, Food Don, and some other names, some other logos I'm going to put on there. All right, so that should be coming soon, you know, on the fooddon.com, you know, .com, you know uh, website. All right, so, um, thanks again for watching. Um, you know. I wish y'all can sit and eat some of this with me, you know, but all y'all can do is watch. Y'all can try it. Like I said earlier, y'all can try making this, and, um, you know, it's going to turn out. Beautifully, all right, so 
This is Food Don. You know, thanks for watching. God bless. Have a wonderful day. Stay cool. It's hot out there, alright?